What's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to another video. This video will just be going over how to idle mine with Cubic. It's pretty straightforward I would say. So well, first what you'll do is you'll set up whatever coin you want to do as your idle coin. So for this example I'll be doing Alio as that's what all the CMPs are running right now. So you set up your flight sheet like normal. It's pretty straightforward for Alio. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make the flight sheet. I'm sure you guys already have them running. And what you're gonna want to do is you want to run that flight sheet first. So, especially if you're doing custom stuff, because you want the miner to make the directory in Hive. So for when Cubic is idling, you're pointing uh, like the idle settings to that miner. So. Uh, going to the cubic flight sheet here. I'm running the latest beta uh, version. For this is for a QLI pool, so this must, this will be different if you're doing like I think a pool is a different cubic one. So this is for QLI. QLI. So latest beta. I'll have that in the like description and comments. Worker name. This is the pool. And then for extra configs, you want to set all your OCs through NVTool, not through the Hive dashboard. So this is what I use for CMPs. You don't have to set memory at 810, but I do anyway. Memory offset, you can do 0 to, I think, 3 or 400. You'll be using more uh, wattage, but that's just up to you guys. And then I have everything else here, trainer, and GPU, and then version CUDA. You don't have to specify, like, CUDA 11 or 12, I just generic CUDA. I run that on... CMPs, 3070s, 4090, 4070Ti, works just fine. PPS false, that means it's running solo. If you do true, you'll be pool mining. And then idle settings, this is where you specify what to do during the idle time. So usually where all the miners are is uh, under like Hive, Miners, Custom, Alio Prover. And you go into that folder and Alio Prover again. And then the arguments... So this is specific to this, uh, how do I say it, like minor. So this you'll have to adjust f to like your minor needs. So F2 pool alia will be different. So for ZK work, it'll just be dash dash pool, the address, dash dash address, address, and then you can do custom names just so you can see what workers are on the pool. And then auto update. If you guys decide to use latest stable release of this miner the formatting here will be different so don't use this if you're doing latest stable most of it is the same but there's some like syntax formatting that changes and then f2 pool same thing you'll just have to run it run it first and then you'll point it to f2 pool and then let's see i'm also uh idle mining ore plus coal while with cubic so what you'll do is you'll first set up the ore flight sheet or well, ore plus coal so I'll leave the links for that down below as well but it, it's going through gpool miner you just set it up it puts the hash in you just do uh, wallet as your template URL and then no PCIe because it's using risers and then th for the wallet you just do like your Solana wallets whatever your receiving address is and the pool somehow it just knows it and then when you go to your cubic what the hell when you go to your cubic uh, miner do the same thing trainer CUDA false because I'm doing solo idle settings hive miner custom G pool miner and then G pool miner again and then dash dash pool, this is the pool for it. And then the port, and then dash dash pub key instead of like dash dash address or wallet. And then you just put in your uh, Solana address. Currently, Cubic is mining. So I can't show you the uh, idle settings, but we are mining Cubic here on the 24090s. Uh, yeah, this is the dashboard. So it'll show all your stuff over here. Then if you go to your trainers, it'll show all your 
ITs per second. I don't know what the hell this is called, but they should all be here. Then when Cubic is idling, it will say like on the top here, I believe a big green bar that will say that Cubic is idling. And then coming to my ZK pool, all the big jumps here, this is when Cubic was idling. So it's around a 50 minute time span. So it'll mine for 50 minutes, go off, mine Cubic, and then 50 minutes later, come back, mine again. And for this, I just have my CMP rigs and the 3070 rig. And then my 40 series are all mining uh, cubic plus ore and coal, which is the 24090s and these 24070 TIs here. So if you guys have any questions, just drop them below. I'll try to like help people out. Someone that I was helping with had some formatting issues. So if you're going to set it up like this, make sure that like you have your access token and then the quotes and then enter and then do trainer and then another set of arguments this, the person had it set up like so all in one line and it did not like the formatting it kept enabling cpu so make sure you have everything formatted correctly i'll have it down below in like the comments i guess i'll just pin it there hopefully it formats it correctly if not, you can always just like go in and edit stuff as you need, but hopefully that helps you guys with setting up cubic idle mining. Uh, I'm just spec mining mostly, so I don't I don't know any of the numbers. You guys have, will have to do that yourself. But simple setup. Cubic has been doing okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.